Hey everybody, this is John from JohnLumer.com and today I'm going to show you how to create an iframe for your Facebook tab. I'm no programmer, but it's really not that bad. It's taken a lot of trial and error for me. Um, one thing I wish I would have known about long ago is the Facebook Tab Manager plugin by David Carr for WordPress. It makes things so much easier. It sets the width at 520, removes header, footer, sidebar, and scroll bars. Uh, it really makes it a piece of cake. If, you, if you're not on WordPress, I also provide some other instructions for you on this blog entry at johnlumber.com, so check it out. Um, so once you install the plugin, if you're on WordPress, um, click on Facebook tabs, add new, create your, your content. It looks just like any other um, um, post or page. I just threw in an image here. Just make sure you keep it under 520. Um, a couple things in here. You can add some some CSS, some scripts if you want. Also, pay attention to these check boxes. You may want to open links in new window if you have links in there, depending on if um, those links are going to pages that are within the uh, Facebook iframe format. I tend to hide the post title, and uh, there's some other instructions here just in case you need them. Uh, and then you you publish it. And um, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to I'm sorry wrong wrong one, go to developers.facebook.com/apps and you create a new app and you click create a new app in the upper right um, and you'll come to a page that looks like this one and the first thing you do you can edit your icon just make sure it's square and really there's only one thing you gotta do and that's um, the page tab which is down here at the bottom when you start you, you open it up you name your 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 um, iframe it could be whatever you want put in the URL that we just created um, and then the secure tab URL now the, the secure URL it depends I mean if you don't have um, secure SSL certificate on, on your website you need to find a new solution I can't vouch for this but I use social server uh, there's a Facebook app for it. They host um, they host a secure URL for you. So I'm throwing that in there for now. Um, then you, you save changes. You'll get an app ID. And with that app ID, again, go to my blog entry for, for this URL. Um, you can go to your page for the, the app that was just created. Then you click on Add to My Page. And then... Uh, you find find your page and you add it and it's as easy as that um, actually I think I need to do it again um, add it to my page and then uh, let's go to John let's go to my page it's gonna come up right there we go let's come up uh, and then on the left hand side we see there's my iframe, the one we just created. It may take a couple seconds. And there it is! We just created an iframe. That makes us developers. So it's really not that bad. I know I kind of uh, flew through it. And again, if you're not on WordPress, it's a little bit more difficult. But I provide some code to at least remove the, the um, scroll bars. So go to johnloomer.com, you'll find those there. Um, iframes are powerful, they're awesome, they allow branding, you can use your own icon as you can see, makes it, it really makes it consistent across your page and I encourage you to use them whenever possible, bring in content from your site and get that traffic. Alright, that's, the, that's the, that tutorial. Uh, for more like this one, go to johnlumer.com. Thank you.